Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Frank with me. We've just beaten Liverpool 3-1 at the Emirates. What's it smell like? Do you know what? It just reeks of victory everywhere <laughs> Arsenal go, Cecil. I'm absolutely buzzing about today's result. I haven't been at the Emirates in a while and what a game to come back to. Listen, yeah. one thing I've heard a lot of people saying today is we're back in the title race. We have to be out of a title race to get back into it. And we were never, ever out of this title race. This team, this performance, for me, was almost perfect today. With the exception of about maybe 10 minutes or so, obviously yep. we made the mistake for the goal. Um, Liverpool, for the first 10 minutes of the second half, probably took the advantage for a little while. But apart from those 10 minutes, 80 minutes of this game, I think we were perfect. And I, think I saw something very similar to what we saw in terms of the style of play that we had last yep. season, the intensity, the attacking, the work rate. Um, and if we can just keep this up, that style of play is what all of us have been looking for throughout the whole of the season. And the issue that we had with that style of play is we burnt out towards the end of the season. Yeah. This time we've been a bit, bit more conservative with the way we played going leading up to this game. We're not going to burn out if we start playing like this now. So I think now is the time to really pull the trigger on this tactic and just go full steam. We really made Liverpool look average 100%. today, um, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, the no, that's the truth. So like can, they, you, can you say that again, please? We really made Liverpool look we average made today. Liverpool look average. It's this not, is, it, is, is, is. Am I, am I lying? No, you're you're not lying. No, I don't, but the thing is, I, don't I, re listen, I respect Liverpool at the top of the Premier League for a reason. 100%. But I'm talking about today's performance. They had one shot on target and mm -hmm. we gifted them really their goal. Yeah, really. We made them look average. No, absolutely. And I've got to give credit to every single player on that pitch. Correct. David Ray, again, he didn't really have much of a save to make. One shot on target, they had the whole game and he caught the shot comfortably. Mm. I think maybe there's a little bit of criticism for him on the goal, but I think it's very equally shared mm. between him and Saliba. Equally? So you say 50-50 between right. him and so Saliba? So regardless, initially Saliba should clear it anyways, but the second that Saliba doesn't clear it, as a goalkeeper, you've got to be a bit mental, yeah, right? You've got to be a little, go, bit, a little go bit mental. Through and grab, you've yeah. just got to go through anything that's in front of you Facts. and just Facts. dive for that ball. Mm. So he should have done a little bit better there, but it's not just his fault. Saliba had a little bit to blame there as well but apart from that everyone performed brilliantly there's not much criticism that I can give I'll be honest with you when I saw the lineup I was aware of the Gabriel Jesus injury and Kai Havertz wouldn't have been my first choice but he made a good account for himself yeah. I've come to terms with the fact that he's not going to score many goals okay right but not every striker has to score many goals. Obviously, we've got played a Liverpool team today, but for many years had Roberto Firmino. He yeah. wasn't known for his goal-scoring um, ability, but he still performed in other ways, and that's exactly what Kai Havertz does. Always scored against us, to be fair. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, he scored against us. Always scored against us, absolutely. But another player that always scores against us, Diogo Jota. Where was, Where was he fun? today? We was ghosty. Him. Was he here? I, was, was he here? He was a ghost. <laughs> he was an absolute was ghost. ghost today. <laughs> I want to just kind of uh, end on just quickly some yeah. uh, individual performance. Uh, Georgina got Player of the Match oh. awarded by Sky. Just talk about Georgina because I think a lot of fans. Well, I just, feel, in my opinion as well, I thought you know he wouldn't have the legs to sustain a performance what he did today against a Liverpool side. I don't know where people get this opinion from, and I want to bring it to a video that James made the other day about. I think it was the the, the, the rate in the signings between that have gone from Chelsea to Arsenal, and he, I think James put him as our best Georgina, one that's yeah, happened. He was top, yeah. And Round of applause, James, because I completely agree with that. Yeah. I think, for the, obviously, the kind of player that Jorginho was supposed to be, he was never going to be a player that was going to come into this starting eleven and just be a consistent player for us. He was always coming in as a squad player at 30-odd years old and £12 million signing. Yeah. Since that point that he's joined this club, over a year now, Apart from the game against Spurs, I think he's done more than enough Agreed. for the price tag that we paid for him and the expectations that we had of that player. Jorginho, for me, was 100% my man of the match. And then, obviously, the other two that you've got to look at for me, Bakayo Saka looked to back to his normal self today, obviously got the goal as well. Gabriel Martinelli causing... Oh, he had Trent on toast today. That's, that's, that's the best way to say it. It's a, it's a regular thing we, we're saying with Martinelli and Trent. Don't forget even, about Rice. Oh, Declan Rice. Yeah. Listen, De Declan Rice works as two, two midfield players. I say it all the time. He, he works just two, two, two midfield players and even with the substitutes one thing I've been critical of Mikel Arteta about is the timing and stuff of these substitutes some of them don't make sense but every single substitution today was perfect Kivior looked solid when Trossard came on people have been getting onto Trossard recently but looked absolutely brilliant scored the best goal with the three and you know what I really do feel sorry for Leandro Trossard because it's kind of like they come as a three Bakayo Saka Martin Lee and Trossard when one of them's out of form they're all out of form but when they're all in form then it's all of them and you can't fit all three of them in so for that reason I feel really Really sorry for Leandro Trossard, but he came on today, made a great count for himself and deaded the game. My guy, yes, love. 